is something we all deal with on a daily basis, stress. And of course, it comes in a variety of forms and has many causes. Work, relationships, and the stresses of modern day life, such as traffic congestion or information overload. So, how do we cope? How can we reduce the stress that at times consumes our lives? Being physically active, if you're able to, can make a big difference. I also talk a lot about nutrition because what you put in your body can make a huge difference as well as how you respond and how your mind works you know, and deals with the, the challenges uh, of your daily routine. What goes on in the mind has an effect in the body and vice versa. So if you can calm the mind a little bit, you know, you can help reduce your stress and increase your relaxation response. Dr. Dorton holds a weekly clinic at Novant Health Primary Care Foxcroft, where he teaches patients techniques for managing stress. Now inhale through your nose, hold it, and blow it out. A real relaxed breath is a breath that comes from the belly. And often when we get stressed or anxious, we're kind of taking shallow, rapid breaths, and that's not a good, deep, relaxing breath. And so if you can be aware of yourself and, and remind yourself to take a relaxed breath, uh, it can help. Just gently shift your attention to your right foot. Just, if you go and practice a few minutes a day over a period of time, it won't take long and you'll start to see some things. Uh, that you didn't see in yourself previously. Dr. Dorton says certain medications can be part of the equation, but often cover up the root of the problem. The answer to stress reduction rests in our minds. Mindfulness is, is learning to be present in the moment in a non-judgmental way. And I think that is an important point, and that's what meditation helps us get better at. And, uh, and, and just by doing that, uh, can, can change the way we approach uh, problems or challenges in our lives. For Novant Health, I'm Jack Grable.